Hey children, here are disgusting things your body does to keep you alive. Number one, morning breath. You wake up, yawn, and instantly regret opening your mouth. Doesn't matter how clean you were yesterday, your breath is absolutely criminal. That's because while you sleep, saliva production drops hard. Saliva normally keeps bacteria in check. It washes them away and neutralizes acids. At night, that system powers down. So, bacteria start breaking down leftover food particles and dead cells on your tongue and gums. That process releases sulfur compounds, which smell exactly how you think they do. It's gross, but it's not a hygiene failure. Number two, mucus and boogers. Your nose feels blocked, sticky, gross. You wipe it, definitely hate it, and wonder why your body does this to you. That thick mucus lining your nose is actually one of your strongest defenses. Every breath you take carries dust, bacteria, viruses, pollen, and microscopic junk. Mucus traps all of it before it reaches your lungs. Boogers are just dried out mucus full of stuff that didn't make it inside you. Basically evidence that your nose did its job. Without mucus, every breath would be a gamble. Your lungs would get hit directly and infections would skyrocket. So yeah, it's disgusting. Number three, dandruff. White flakes show up out of nowhere. People ask you, is it snowing? You can't wear any dark shirts and your confidence is at the lowest. Dandruff happens when your scalp sheds skin cells too quickly, often triggered by yeast, stress, dryness, or inflammation. The flaking is your scalp trying to reset its protective barrier. So it's not dirt, it's just renewing something organic. Your scalp is basically saying something's off and attempting to rebuild itself. That's why treating dandruff means fixing the cause, not just brushing flakes away. It's annoying and embarrassing, for sure. But dandruff is your skin reacting, not failing. Number four, earwax. You feel buildup in your ear and immediately assume something's wrong. So you grab a cotton swab and start digging, like it's a problem to solve. Earwax exists on purpose. It also traps dust, bacteria, and even tiny insects before they reach your eardrum, just like nose. But it's slightly acidic, which helps kill microbes on contact. Your ears also have a built-in cleaning system. Jaw movement slowly pushes wax outward over time. You're not supposed to go digging inside. When you overclean, you remove protection and risk infections or damage. That's why doctors tell you to leave it alone. So earwax isn't dirt. Number five, farts. You try to hold it in because it's embarrassing, but your body really wants you to stop doing that. Gas builds up when gut bacteria break down food. So that pressure has to go somewhere. Releasing it prevents painful bloating and stress on your intestines. Holding gas too long can cause cramps and discomfort because pressure builds internally. It's not dangerous every time, but it's not harmless either. Changes in smell or frequency can even signal shifts in gut health. So yeah, it's awkward. But farting means digestion is happening and bacteria are doing their job. Number six, sweat. You start sweating, smelly, and instantly feel gross, like something went wrong. But sweat is your body's main cooling system. When your internal temperature rises, sweat evaporates and pulls heat away from your skin. Without it, you'd overheat fast. Sweat also contains antimicrobial compounds that help protect your skin barrier. It's part of how your body responds to stress, effort, and danger. It's not detox. Toxins are handled by your liver and kidneys. Sweat is about survival, not cleansing. The smell comes from bacteria breaking sweat down, not the sweat itself. Sweating keeps your brain and organs from getting cooked. If you want to watch more video like this, subscribe to my channel. See you.